Y'all planning for this? Hello, everyone. Welcome to a, another episode of Reading Time with Jarvis. Over the last uh, 18 years or so of my career, I've read more than 300 business books, most of which can be found in my office. And in this episode, I want to highlight books that had the biggest impact on my career or the books that have the number, the highest number of action items that you can implement in your practice. Today's book is not about your practice directly, but it has everything to do with how you interact with your clients, especially with clients that are aging, which they all are, or clients that are getting closer to the inevitable passing away. And in this book, author Katie Butler goes through the story of her own father's illnesses and his health decline until he passes away. And she spends a lot of time discussing the difference between quantity of life and quality of life. Now, your personal beliefs may fall anywhere on that spectrum. I have my own beliefs as well on that. But it's a good reminder for us as financial advisors, especially if your niche is retirees, but really any niche, that we need to be prepared to have these discussions with clients in an empathetic and empowering way. Um, I often, I don't want to say joke, but I often mention to clients that my least favorite part of the job is that we work with clients for years, decades, until they eventually pass away. And then, of course, we'll work with their beneficiaries or the causes that they're passionate about to make sure that things work as planned. So I really, I recommend this this book for everyone, financial advisor or not. And I want to give you my three key takeaways uh, or three key action items from this book. Action item number one. While it can be incredibly difficult, it is a, an essential value add to your clients that you help them plan for this inevitable outcome of life, right, which, which is dying, right? That means we're having the difficult discussion of, all right, what do you want to have happen if you're not able to stay in your home any longer? What do you want to have happen if you're to get dementia? What do you want to have happen if your spouse passes away or if you pass away first? For your clients that have elderly parents that are still alive. Great. What do you want to happen for your parents if they become sick or pass away? And and go through these open-ended discussions and start making a plan for all of these things. And and there's several things that go on that you can warn them about, right? What does long-term care look like? Where do families have conflict after people pass away? All of these things are an important value add to go through with your clients. On that note for the uh, members of the Backstage Pass and of Invictus for the Perfect RAA, there are value-add resources specifically for this that Micah and I have used with our respective clients. Action item number two. This uh, is not legal advice. I'll give that disclaimer. But your client's estate documents do not even scratch the surface on the plans that are needed when people become ill and or pass away, right? So designating your power of attorney, your attorney, in fact, that's certainly valuable. And naming your trustee and your beneficiaries and having your directive to physician, that's all fine and dandy and that is essential. But what about the scenario where your client or your client's parents, they get dementia and they're not, then they get pneumonia. Who decides if they get medication to keep them alive? Is that what they want? Do they want to be kept alive as long as possible? Or myself personally, if I get to the point where I can't remember who I am and I can't get to the bathroom on my own, uh, quit giving me medication and let kind of nature take its course. Now, interestingly enough, the Veterans Administration of all places has a really great resource on this. It's been criticized just a little bit for trying to kind of force people to end of life planning, but the Veterans Administration has a, a what I would call a good solid piece, the best I've seen on planning for these end of life scenarios, not just when I die, what happens, but what if I can't drive anymore? What if I can't remember who I am? Those kind of things. What is our plan when that happens? Action item number three, this is a bit more personal. I would recommend that you buy this book and give it to your parents if they're living and discuss it with them. Have this discussion, I guess, depending on your age, give it to your spouse and discuss it with them as well. But have this discussion with the people that are closest with you. Now, I have to confess a bit of head trash. I have always wanted to send this book out to clients and I just haven't been able to pull the trigger on it. So it, it, next time you see me at a conference, let's set up some extreme accountability because I really want to get this book out to all of my clients. So uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door by Katie Butler, and in the immortal words of Nacho Libre, 
go. Go away. Read some books. Hold on before we go. Something that you need to know. This isn't tax, legal, or investment advice. That isn't our intent. The information designed to change lives. Financial planning can make you thrive. Start today, don't think twice. Be a better husband, father, mother, and wife. The perfect RIA, the perfect RIA.